I really just like looking like I'm on holiday 24 7 when I do makeup nowadays because why not just because I live in the UK where it's just very very gloomy and very very depressing it doesn't mean my makeup needs to look that way too hey friends welcome back to my channel I'm Kaiser if you're new here and if you're not thank you so much for coming back to watch another video okay friends so if you guys want to know how I achieve this beautiful date night night time clubbing you can do this for anywhere where you're going that involves a night type of look then keep on watching because I used literally my own collection yes I said so my collection that is literally live right now to purchase with newsticks.com to create this and I am absolutely living so if you guys want to know how I achieve this look what products I use to achieve this look and also where to purchase my collection that I use to create this look continue watching all right friends let's get straight into today's look so first things first we're going to prime our face I'm going to use the milk makeup hydro grip primer just going to apply that all over I love this primer so much like it literally is the best primer i think there's other ones that are like really good and i love as well depending on the season but for all year round this wins applying products onto my forehead is always so funny on camera because i've got a very interesting hairline <laughs> so let's just mind the gap over there my base is now nice and sticky as you guys can see you can probably hear it as well which i really really love that means the products are really going to stick and just look amazing they're not going to move they're not going to crease none of that love that so i'm going to go in with my nude fix nude concealer and this is in a shade number 10 if i'm correct yeah nude number 10 and i use this as like to kind of like even up my skin tone before i apply any foundation so i'm just going to go and apply that right underneath my eyes just like that now this is a bit deeper than my skin tone is a bit more richer i think it's like one shade down well like one shade down is what this color is but it kind of like helps me color correct without having to color correct because it also has a bit of like a you know reddish undertone so it kind of like balances out and cancels out any colors that i have and bags that i have going on with my face so i'm just gonna go and take my concealer brush i just realized i have actually switched from a brush no from a beauty blender girl to a brush girl i understand brush supremacy i think everyone else needs to understand it too it just it just does what it needs to do i think it just makes more sense i like just having a brush for every single step if that makes sense so as you can see now i feel like my base looks way more even can you guys see no foundation has been applied yet we're now going to go in with foundation the foundations i mixed are these two which i really really love because i didn't tell you what they're called the nars natural radiant longwear foundation my fab and the max factor foundation this is the face finity all day flawless flexi hold three in one in the color warm chestnut really really love these two so i just like to mix and match these two sometimes i just like the way it just looks on my skin so i'm just blending that in really push that into the skin now i don't really apply a lot of foundation anymore because you don't really need to when you've done the concealer step which is why the concealer step is very very crucial for me um it means i can just apply less foundation look less cakey but still have my desired look so i don't think i think i just did like two pumps if i'm being correct i'm probably gonna have to apply some because i always forget about my forehead like i said so we're gonna go into that forehead as well right after so I'm again. Okay, from what I can see, this looks quite good. I think this looks nice. This is a nice base. Yes, I think I like that. So now I'm gonna go straight into concealer. Now with the concealer, I use a very very bright concealer. Yeah, this is the Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. You guys know this concealer, bad boy. Like it is amazing. So what I'm gonna do is apply this. This is a color butterscotch, and I like to apply this right here. Sometimes I accidentally go a bit OD. You know what, today I may actually go a bit OD. So let's apply a lot to the under eyes, but not too much. I think let's, I've applied a bit too much. A bit here, a bit here. And then my nose, of course. And then my forehead. So I'm going to blend that out as well. I always start with my chin. I like to blend out my under eye concealer last, just to let it kind of like sit in place for a bit longer than everywhere else. So really blend out and diffuse um the concealer on my chin now every time when you're blending you just literally just taps it's just taps you don't be rubbing it in like that that just messes up your whole makeup moves everything shifts everything just blend out and like fan it out to when it comes towards the edges so that there's no line of demarcation so tap 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 and then blend it out tap 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 blend it out do the same thing for the upper lip so tap and then just blend it out 
Mm -hmm. I'll do the same thing to my forehead. Tap and blend out. Now we're going to touch the under eyes. Now with the under eyes, this is what I like to do first. I like to go towards the edges, blend out the edges. So what we're going to do, do the same thing. Tap, 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 fan it out. Tap, 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 fan it out. We're not going to bring it too crazy like down here. No, because we still want the natural foundation that we already applied to kind of help us act like a contour. I know you see the ombre. You know, is it an ombre or the gradient? The gradient? <laughs> is that what it's called? So we're going to do the same thing to the other side now. Again, tap, tap, tap and blend outwards. So as you guys can see, I'm doing the same thing here. I also like to bring it upwards a bit. So like here, I just like the way it lifts up my face. I Everyone has different faces. Some people actually look really lovely when they just do that type of effect. You also have to learn your face when it comes to makeup. Learn your face, see which looks the best. That's what makeup is about. Just making it unique and individual to you and yourself. So we're now going to bring this upwards to the under eyes. So like that. So can you see one side already? And this is what I was talking to you guys about. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side of my face. So now I'm gonna just go in and do my nose as well. So we just lightly just bring that upwards. I'm going to use my Baby Got Peach collection that I released with nude sticks, guys. I came up with two kits. So this is kit number one. Kit number one includes three different products. So they are cream products that I released. Now, this is the kit number one. So it includes, I include an illuminator shade, which is called Brown Sugar Baby. It's a beautiful, beautiful gold. And you guys know, I've always been a gold babe. I then included two different blush shades. Now, this it's been used so it's got some of my makeup on it but i'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the skin this is called picante now this is a beautiful orange like very nice fiery orange shade and then i added this beautiful shade as well called poppy girl it's just such a beautiful pinky peachy kind of color and it just looks phenomenal on days where i'm not applying makeup i love wearing this as well so i apply these two on my cheeks and by doing this i do not apply any cream contour at all so again you guys can literally get this collection at nude6.com right now but i'm gonna show you guys so you guys can see the real deal so you guys can actually understand why you need to purchase it so this is picante i'm gonna apply this onto my cheeks like that yes so can you guys see then i apply poppy girl so like onto the edges so kind of like blend it together but just apply like that i'm gonna use this to kind of like push that and blend that into my skin so pat 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 and blend so i am not going to drag this up well, like i'm going to drag this upwards but i'm not going to really move it too much around because i just i really do want it to just be focused in exactly where i placed the makeup if that makes sense i just like to like blend out the line of demarcation between the blush and the concealer so it's not noticeable just kind of like bring it together just mix the two Can you guys, you guys get it right? You, you get it right? I'm gonna do exactly what I did here, here, and then let's continue. So then you guys can understand why my kit just pops that much. And then apply a bit of Poppy Girl towards like the brow bone, blending that out. Blend until your heart desires. and diffuse that again a little bit so i'm gonna apply some right here on my chin a bit on my nose i just really like how it looks again i really just like looking like i'm on holiday 24 7 when i do makeup nowadays because why not just because i live in the uk which where it's just very very gloomy and very very depressing it doesn't mean my makeup needs to look that way too when i blend it out when i apply it on different places like this i actually go in with my foundation brush and just blend that upwards remember what i said as well guys i don't really like to blend anything down when i blend anything down i feel like it drags my face down so everything just gets blended upwards so quickly before i move on as you guys can tell i have not applied any and i mean any cream contour i've just applied my two blushes from the baby got peach collection which again is picante and poppy girl 
love these two so if you guys want to purchase these and also i'll show you guys what brown sugar baby looks like towards the end make sure you guys look in the description bar down below or go to newsticks.com and find the kaiser kobe slash newsticks kit which is called baby got peach okay guys so it's now time for powder and the powder that i have been obsessing over like absolutely love is the huda beauty blondie powder this is the easy bake loose baking and setting powder this powder right here literally gives you coverage color and flawlessness like no creasing whatsoever it, creasing does not to belong here when you use this powder and the color just looks chef's kisses it just makes so much sense and uche always raves about this powder so i was like you know what i'm always seeing her rave about this powder let me actually just use the powder and actually just give it some love give it some attention i get it babe i absolutely understand So, we're going to go back again. Blend that out. That just looks so flawless. But what I'm doing is just kind of like, again, using the powder to give me the illusion that I've contoured my nose. That's all I'm telling you. You don't really need to do it a lot when it comes to makeup. It's just all about placement and how you can, like, trick things, if that makes sense. It's all about illusion and placement when it comes to makeup. So, I'm just really... Given the illusion that I've contoured my nose by bringing the powder more in, like that. And now, from what I can see, can you guys, can you see what I'm talking about? It looks like I've contoured the nose again. Then I'm just going to apply a bit on my nose, go a bit up. Apply that onto my brows. I like it when my brows are set in place. So the powder is what I'm going to use to kind of like shape a bit of my like cheekbones. So I'm just going to take a little bit of powder right here. And just kind of just do this. You guys, you guys know this step already. Everyone, every OG makeup artist, has showed you guys about this step. Don't do the same to the other side a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is lightly bronze as well. Just lightly bronze using any bronzer that I can find or reach. That's all we need. We don't need too much. So now I'm just gonna take some here. take some on my forehead i can't lie i do really like a really bronzed forehead so i may go a bit old with the forehead section and now just for extraness because this is really not necessary like in the slightest at all i'm just going to go in a tiny bit just on the nose and just use literally whatever is on that brush just to really bring out the nose so i'm just using the as you see it didn't really do anything but just make it pop a bit more yes really like how that's looking okay guys so it's now time for the eyes and then soon we're gonna go straight into the lips and i'm gonna use my second kit which is called it's poppin comes in a nice tin container which actually has a mirror so you can really just easily put this in your bag by the way that's what i do put this in your bag it has a mirror it comes with the two products and a sharpener which is very very good so this is called g baby this is named after my late grandma um it's crazy to even say that so i decided to use her nickname that we always call her, which is called G-Baby, to name this after her. So she was called Nana, but her nickname was called G-Baby because she was just a G. And she was so cute, like a baby. Like, it just made too much sense. It's brown, and she's a brownie, like, you know. Oh, I love that woman. So I was just like, yeah, I'm definitely going to name you this. And this, I, like, I really, really love this. So this literally works as so many different things. Underneath your eyes, that's what I use it as. On top of your eyes, that's what we're going to use it as today. Give you, it gives you so many options. And as a lip liner, darling, come on. It's phenomenal. So with this, I actually created these two shades. So these two shades have never been on the New Six website. These are shades I created by myself with the brand. So these are actually my own. So yeah, G Baby, and this is called La Badi. This is a lip gloss shade, and it is absolutely amazing. You guys know I love my nudes, aka my nudes and my clear glosses. So I wanted to make a clear gloss shade that literally just takes that extra step, just gives you that extra puff of form. So this is like an amazing topper it's got iridescent glitter in it so it just literally has a bit of purple gold it just it looks different in different lighting and i like that and that's the type of vibe that i am a basic girl that needs something to just vibe vomit you know what i'm saying okay so that's what i wanted to create so let's go with g baby because i've been talking for a lot now and i'm going to apply this onto my eyes a bit so i'm going to apply some here so this is what the colors look like on my eyes i think this looks so beautiful you know what we're going to apply a bit And I'm going to take an eye blending brush and just work that in there. But I don't want to move it too, too much. Just kind of like work it in. 
do the same thing for the other eye. So I'm going to put some here. I'm going to drag it upwards a bit like that. I'm going to do it one eye at a time this time because I always forget that this is actually a matte liner. So it kind of dries very fast. Just like that. Now I'm going to take Brown Sugar Baby and just apply it onto the inner corner. Now Brown Sugar Baby looks like this. It's like an illuminator but it's got like a glow. Like a really nice glowiness to it. So I've got to be careful because it's going to give, it's going to glossify my lip, my lids, which I do want, but just so effortlessly. I really like this. So, just doing the same thing to the other eye. That is what it's giving. So this is literally G Baby and Brown Sugar Baby on my eyelids. That's all. I didn't apply anything else. I am not a pro when it comes to eyeshadow. That's not that's not me. You know, I'm a base girl. Um <laughs> you would have thought I would have learned how to actually apply eyeshadow really, really well. But it's just not me. I just never really enjoyed it. But this I like stuff like this. So you see how quick and easy this was. So you can really do this on the go. So this literally just changes your makeup from like day to night that fast. So what I'm gonna do now is blend out all of this quickly just make sure again there's no harsh lines so that's what we're doing right now just blending out the forehead okay guys so i'm now going to take g baby and line my lips so let's get straight into that this makes lining your lips so easy and quick So this is G Baby on my lips guys. Really really love how they turned out today. I'm just gonna apply a nude lipstick onto the center. Just like that. Okay, this is what I like. So just went in with a red as well in the middle, just to kind of make it still look a bit I can't explain it, but I like I like the way the color looks like now. The nude was a bit too white for me. Now I'm going to go in with La Buddy. Now I love this lip gloss because, first of all, I made it, obviously. And two, because just the shade, it just looks that good. I'm just going to line, I always outline my lips first and then just fill in the middle. So. That's why this kit is called It's Poppin' because of how poppin' the lip gloss just looks. Like, come on. The combo just looks out of this world. But, mm, 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 mm. we're going to set my face because I actually like doing that first. So what we're going to do now is set my face. So again, this is literally everything. We've got G-Baby Labadi on my lips. We've got G-Baby and brown sugar on my eyes. We've got Picante and Poppy Girl on my cheeks and everything else. So again, give me two seconds. I'll be back with a final look just to show you guys what that looks like. And the final look is literally just me with mascara and lashes. And you'll see how big of a difference that does to this whole look because when you do an eye like this you kind of need lashes of it okay all right friends i'm back and this is the completed look i think this is giving like i'm in love i'm actually in love i decided to go for a bit of some dramatic lashes today because why not added some mascara and just added black liner just like where to my lash line yeah so to the top of my lash line where i applied the lash the lashes i think I am in love with this look so i could just imagine myself in this look in a nice black dress my heels my cute pumps and i'm good to go so i think this is very much date night approved makeup i hope you guys think so too i keep looking at myself because i'm really just in love um i love the way my lips turned out as well that's g baby on the lips with la buddy and yeah so we've got picante and poppy girl on my cheeks brown sugar baby on my nose on my eyelids and i think my eyelids look 
quite fantastic so that's why i kind of like these lashes it's given like a peekaboo effect to like so it's kind of like mysterious a little bit you know that mysterious girl type of look i feel like this look is giving that very very well but also the most important thing guys if you guys really liked how this look turned out make sure you guys purchase my kits so that's these two bad boys right here baby got peach and it's popping and i hope you guys are interested in purchasing these kits this is literally such a milestone in my career and i'm just so grateful that i'm able to say i literally have a collaboration out with a brand right now to purchase so if you guys literally love it love me and love how this look turned out you can literally get the same look using these products and do a follow along to this video and then you guys can tag me i'll repost it you know it's all love everywhere i love you guys and appreciate you guys so so much and i will see you guys in my next one so i'm gonna close off this video love you guys to bits and i will see you guys in my next one make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you're always alert when i upload a new video bye friends